Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Blood Gaming, and today I want to talk about Osiris League bets. Now, I have a fairly unpopular opinion about this, but my strategy guarantees prizes and it eliminates risk. So let's get into it. The first of the daily and weekly tasks under the Allure of Gold tab. So each day you can log in and you can collect resources in your city, defeat barbarians, train 2,000 units, and gather 200,000 resources on the map. And you can get 150 coins per day with this method. And then there's the weekly quests in which you can use 5,000 minutes of speed ups on training, purchase 50 items from the courier station, log in for five days, make a bet, and then earn a thousand orcs in total. So on the screen now, you're going to see a breakdown of the daily and the weekly quests and how much they actually pay out. So the daily quests, you can earn up to, as I said, 150 a day, but that refreshes seven times throughout the week. So you're able to get 1,050 coins from this each week. And then for the weekly Oryx, if you're able to do every single one of those tasks, you're able to pull in 1,000 Oryx. And then I subtract one as part of my strategy. So you'll see my strategy here under the league bets. I only end up betting one coin on a matchup that ends up being fairly favorable. Um, the reason that I do this is because I ultimately want to get that coin back. Now, you can implement this strategy and bet that one coin on a less favorable matchup in a, an attempt to try and get one to three coins, maybe four coins back if it's a if it's a big upset. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, and your total coins at the end will end up looking something like this. So you're pulling in 2,050 per week, and now it all really depends on the schedule of the Osiris League. Uh, as you can see underneath there, the Osiris League is going to run for about eight weeks. It's possible that it goes nine if the two teams in the finals end up going to that third game. But for the sake of this video, we're going to assume that you hit that eight-week spot, which getting 2,049 per week will end up with 16,392 coins, which is actually a considerable amount to spend in that Osiris League shop that you now see on the screen. So in this shop, there's prizes. Obviously, there's the the Sobek, the Crocodile God statue. And if you're into something like that, then you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of coins. 10,000 is a lot to have to spend on that. Um, but your main hot ticket items are going to be the legendary commander sculptures, the two uh, blueprints, the Set Sufferance and the Seth's Brutality, these dazzling starlight sculptures, and then down in this area, you're looking at the 60 minutes of speed ups, the 24 hour gathering, and the 1000 action points. So I've gone ahead and I've broken down all of these prizes that are offered within the shop right here. And in order to buy out the shop with the Oryx that are provided, you're going to need 38,900 of these Oryx. And as we saw in that previous screen, you can only get about... You can only get about 16,400, or if we go all nine weeks, 18,000. So you're going to have to start selecting what it is that you actually want to get from this shop. So I already mentioned my top picks and I'll show those up on the screen right now as well. So I'm going to be getting the gold heads, the two blueprints, the gold stars, all of the action points and all of the 60 minute speed ups. The one, the couple of things that I recommended that I'm not going to be getting are the 24 hours of gathering as I have about 650 of those, so I'm not really going to need those. And the Tomes of Knowledge are also good value, but I don't necessarily need those either because I, I believe at this point I have plenty of them. So that breaks down all the coins and everything, and once you get to the end, if we go nine weeks, then you'll have 
about 3,000 more to spend on whatever you want. So you might be able to pick up the gold keys or pick up some tomes of knowledge or 24-hour gathering, and that's up to you. Um, I definitely would base that on account need. So with this strategy, you definitely end up with no frills. You're not really betting on anything. So kind of takes the fun out of it that way. But hey, you're guaranteed prizes, and you're guaranteed to get all the good stuff that the shop has to offer. And if you really want to bet and go spend all of your coins and do your picks each week, I know Dragothian puts out some really great videos in terms of picks, and he's been very successful in the past as well. So be sure to check those out.